I'm David from Levica Photography and today we're checking out a new little travel tripod. KNF Concepts sent me this tripod and uh, it comes in a, a pouch and there's an instruction booklet in there with a wrench but we don't need that stuff. <laughs> and this thing is tiny. I mean really tiny and I wasn't too sure I wanted to go this small but now that I'm actually looking at it this is going to be good for like sticking in my luggage when I travel because I mean the whole thing is I needed a travel tripod the one thing I can tell you right now that I don't like just by looking at it is the actual head but the click sounds are correct uh, you get three different settings on the tripod so you can go all the way out flat or you can go to like a halfway setting and then the head itself actually drops down to there or it expands out and these are just twist locks this particular tripod itself is actually made out of aluminum and uh, you know a lot of people think that carbon fiber is better but when you get into carbon fiber sometimes if the carbon fiber isn't thick enough it becomes flimsy so in this case I actually prefer aluminum um, one thing I'm not a fan of though is the five legs that you extend out. If you compare it to a regular tripod, the height isn't bad. It's a little less than I want it to be. Just so you know, this is great for mirrorless cameras, but I will not mount the Canon 5DS on here. I think it's just a little too heavy for it. You know, the, the head that's on here actually works pretty good. It's a one dial knob, and then this one locks your rotation, this knob over here will lock your rotation this way. This is a one dial knob to adjust this part. Uh, my problem with this head though, oh and it does have a nice little bubble level right here, which is good. But my problem with the head is it has a plate. And the reason why this is a problem for me is because I have like five or six cameras. So if the plate is left on one camera and I forget about it and I take this in the field, I've got no plate, no way to mount it. So even though there's nothing wrong with this head, it's actually a very nice head, but for me, I'm going to use something a little different. So we're going to go ahead and take it off. Just untwist that there. Don't mind that. <laughs> I'm going to put on this one. Now this head is actually about half the weight. And this is just a little ProMaster head. It's half the weight of the other one. And it's kind of the same concept, one knob turning. Uh, but it, this is you just screw into the bottom of the camera. <clears throat> so for the OMD EM1 Mark II, this is actually kind of perfect. And I did shoot this with the A7R as well. Uh, but with the A7R, it was a little wiggly on the top, so I could only go to this high. The way that it's extended right now, it will put your camera at 48 inches. That is, it's okay. I prefer something a little taller at this height. Uh, fully extended. It's only 52 inches to the center of the lens. The tripod itself weighs uh, two and three quarter pounds or 44 ounces, however you want to look at that. With my tripod head on there, my little ProMaster head, that knocked off about six ounces. Alright, fold it up like a normal tripod and you're looking at about 19 inches in length. Alright, so loosen the, the neck up, extend it all the way up and flip the legs over the other way and we get this thing down to 13 inches, which is just minuscule, especially for what I consider a very small pro-level quality tripod. On this end, I want to show you that it actually has a weight hook. That way, and this is underneath the tripod because it's folded the other way. But, uh, you know, you can hang your bag on that to give you more support if it's windy out while you're shooting. Okay, I'm currently at Watson Lake Dam and I'm getting ready to shoot that little tree down there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I really dig that. But anyway, it was kind of a stretch getting there because I had to hike over a lot of this. This is the tripod out in the field and, uh, you know, so far it seems to be pretty rigid. The OMD EM1 Mark II and I've got a Sigma 60mm f2.8 on there and I want to slow this down so I'm going to have to throw a neutral density filter on there and see what I can get <laughs> it 
But anyway, if you ever get to Prescott, Arizona, this is Watson Lake. I love this area. This is one of my favorite places to come and play around at. The nice thing about this tripod is we can get really low. I'm out here at Tano National Bridge. This is what I'm looking at. And yes, that's a girl belting in the background. Anyway, the little tripod seems to be working pretty well. All right, from the other side of um, Tonto Nat Natural Bridge, this is kind of what it looks like. I'm putting my faith into the hands of this little tripod, so hopefully all my photos turn out well. It's kind of cool how I have it configured. So in the field, this was actually pretty good. Um, I was a little worried about my A7R on here, uh, just wondering if it was going to wiggle too much to get any kind of vibration in the picture. Uh, overall, it held up fine. I didn't really see any issues at all, and I was very happy with the shots that I got. And there was a couple of times when I only took one shot, it was sharp. So yeah, there's no wiggling going on. Um, I wouldn't put a DSLR on it at all. Even an APS-C size DSLR I think is a little too much for this. But full frame mirrorless and uh, micro four thirds APS-C size like the Sony A6000, A6500, the Olympus OMD E and one more two that I shot on here, the A7R that I shot on here, they seem fine with it. Um, my only gripe is the height, the total extended height. To me it's a little, a little too short. Um, I really wish that this could go another foot uh, just to get it right up to my eye level uh, just so I can stand easily when I'm shooting. But outside of that, you know, I mean, I can't complain because it's so damn small. And this really is like a pro quality tripod that's just been squeezed down to a little tiny thing. I love it. Because I replaced the head on here, I'm saving myself four ounces. So, you know, it's, it is pretty damn light. It, with my head on here, uh, this is actually the same weight as my old tripod. So, I guess technically I'm perfectly happy with it. I just wish it went another foot up. So anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Otherwise, we'll talk to you guys later. See ya.